What's going on guys, the one the only water cool full. Today we're going to be talking about using the Raspberry Pi and loading up RetroPie onto it and getting it bootable. Um, shout out's going to be by TechWiz Time. I actually followed his tutorial and it actually worked. Uh, as you guys know, I have two of these guys just laying around. Uh, one was made in 2013, I believe this one was made um, 2010, I believe, if I look at the date. Yeah, uh, December 18th, 2010. So this is a pretty old drive, so I used the one that was manufactured on the uh, 2013, I don't know what uh, exact day or date. But um, what I'm going to do is show you guys proof of concept. I have no SD card located in the drive whatsoever. Uh, what you want to use is going to be a SanDisk um, Ultra Plus and capacity is going to be 128 gigs that you can use but um, it doesn't really matter what capacity you're using. Um, if you're just going to use the drive, get an 8 gig one, uh, load your RetroPie on there, then from there do this method so it will be a heck of a lot faster than than what I did. So let's get started. TV right there, nice and blue. So first method that I'm going to try to do, because I've been experimenting, first you want to turn on the hard drive and then from there do the Raspberry Pi. So we'll see if it works. If not, i got to redo it. Okay, so we have activity going on on the hard drive. So from there, theoretically, it should boot up to uh, emulation station. Now we'll have TechWiz Time, uh, his channel linked below with the video that I follow to get this to work. It, it takes some time uh, putting in the commands and everything. I've, I think it would be best if you do it via the F4 method, meaning you go straight into the operating system and everything, um, just for simplicity and also if you're, something goes wrong with your computer, you're not kind of like in the hole, more or less, if that makes sense, uh, trying to figure out what's going on or what, what, your, you know, what your Raspberry Pi is doing. Right, so it is going to take a little longer to load um, than the standard SD uh, card, but however, you have a lot more space on here, and I will show you that as soon as this boots up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alright, so here we go. We are inside Emulation Station. I'm going to show you proof of concept in a second, but if we go to Atari, you know, have this working, has videos, all that stuff. Uh, there it works videos. Uh, this is called scraping, and then I have a Atari 7800. The Atari Lynx, which is basically their handheld Dreamcast, doesn't really work with this. Uh, with the Pi, I have Game Gear here, Game Boy Advance, Macintosh, Sega Master System, Nintendo 64 for your nostalgia, right there. And then Nintendo, right there, that was my first uh, gaming system. I'm just showing you a little bit right here. So I'll just do it to the loading screen and then go back. So there you go. So I'm going to hit uh, select start. And it's going to go ahead and go back. We have MS-DOS, ports, pixel, PSP, PlayStation, 
all that stuff. So, okay. So now what I'm going to show you is the amount of space I have now to show you. So you're going to hit F4 on your computer right there, your Raspberry Pi. And uh, all you're going to have to do for this is type in DF space TAC H and that's pretty much given, it's going to give you your file system inside Linux. But Linux is your kernel, the good news is your OS or whatever. So we're going to do DF TAC H. And there's a file paths right there and I'm going to show you. Like so. And then if you look, 1.7 terabytes free. So, yeah. So it does work. Whoops. And uh, again, big shout out to Tech Wiz Time on showing me on how to do this. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to know anything else about RetroPie, please let me know. Um, I actually got three Raspberry Pis. If you already, if you didn't know, so I have the wooden one. I have the one with the acrylic. Um, this is what the Noctua fans I actually made a video about that. So go ahead and check that out. Um, if you would be so kind, if you want to know about the fans and how good they perform. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, click that like button, and remember now, always have a great day now.